Hello everyone. It's been a while, I know. By a while I mean just like a few months, I don't remember exactly, but today we have a brand new YouTube's unboxing right here. We have one, two, and three different packages from YouTube's. So let's crack right into them. Um we're gonna go with this guy right here. Scoop these two off to the side. So, where did I leave my pocket knife? There it is. Let's uh, crack right into it. So, I know it's been a while, but I was just focusing on my life and everything. I graduated high school, guys. Surprise, surprise. But, you know, it's a good thing that I did. So now, uh, alrighty, enough of all that. Uh, let me turn on another light, you guys can barely see it. So, just from this side, I already know who this is, without revealing my address, even though I blurred it out. We have, Papa Raz, or Raz Balki. Uh, he is basically just known for the being a Yon Dairy Simulator guy. Like, that's why I mostly know him for, along with some FNAF stuff. So, here he is with everything Yon Dairy Simulator re related. You know, we got his note for Senpai to notice him. We got the Pog Camp with the purple guy face on it. We got Mr. Turtle. And, you know, we got a little, uh, what's that flower called? It's kind of like a pink bloom flower in Japan. I don't know the name of it, or I don't remember it, but yeah, it's like these little flowers right here. But this is just supposed to be like when you complete the end of the story and you win Senpai's heart by, well, taking care of the other students, both male and female, because you just want Senpai all to yourself. So here on the back sleeve, we have... Um, uh, you know, the weapon that you use to take care of the other students. And we have Raz plus Senpai forever engraved on the tree. Uh, then this is just the other side. So let's go ahead and lift off the sleeve and take a look at the figure. Oh my god, he's so beautiful. Look at him. He is number 217 of the YouTube's collection. On the side, we have the center of the school with, um... Papa Raz, uh, or Raz Balki taking care of somebody making sure they don't get, oh, oh my, <laughs> what do you get when you cross a Scott man with a yonder, <laughs> a bloody mess, so, yeah, looks like, uh, poor, uh, this poor student got, uh, taken care of, yeah, and then, on the side right here, we got Yon Daddy, because it is true, he is our Yon Daddy, and, for the top note, it says, Notice me, Senpai, with a love letter covered in uh, blood. So before we take a look at the figure, here's just the inside with these rosy pink petals, flower, whatever. So we're just going to put that off to the side. And here is Raz Belki himself. Honestly, kind of disappointed with the hairdo. Like on this box, like on the sleeve, it looks more white, but on the actual figure itself, there's barely any white on it. It's more just black and everything. Kind of disappointed with that, but all in all, still pretty good figure. We got, you know, on the back, we got this more purple guy, Pog Camp Face. This is a closer look at Mr. Turtle. There he is right there. And of course, Raz Balki doing a little peace sign. We even got a little bit of chest hair from Raz Belki. If the camera would focus, come on. Come on, there we go. And we got his feet. Which, funny enough, he actually sent YouTube's pictures of his feet. Because this is what he wanted his figure just to be looking like. So he sent pictures of his feet to to YouTube. So YouTube's is the only company to have pictures of Raz Belki's feet. Because... You know, as a joke in his uh, community, he, he's always just, you know, in comments, they're always joking like, show us your feet, daddy. 
or like just a bunch of random comments that I don't want to look at because they're all just weird. So yeah, enough. Uh, I'm not gonna be bothered trying to put this fully back on because. It's just not worth the time to do that. So, there's Razbelki right there. Or, Yandere Razbelki. And I've also seen some people's Razbelki don't want to stand properly. You know, they'll just like fall over. But it looks like mine, I got a good Razbelki. So, we'll just put him off right there. Uh, let's go with this guy right here. Alrighty. Here we got our next figure. Uh, let's see if I can just peel it. No, I'm not going to be bothered. I know, Todd, if you're uh, seeing this, I'm sorry for wasting good YouTube tape that I could be giving you to eat, but... Here. Uh... Todd, this is for you, alright? I'm going to... Mail this back to the YouTube's headquarters. This is some piece of tape for you to eat right there. Alrighty. And right here we have... Ooh. I already know who this is. That's from that sleeve right there. Oh yeah. This is the one and only... Well, there goes the box. But it's 8-Bit Ryan. Which he actually just got delivered today. So I knew who this was. But I didn't get any shipping notifications for Razbelki and the third figure. So, let's take a look at 8-Bit Ryan. So here's his Sleeva art. Looking pretty dandy with a, bun with a bunch of zombies. And I'm guessing these are supposed to be like the FNAF animatronics. So we got like a Nightmare animatronic again. This could be Freddy. Or maybe a toy animatronic with 8BR for his channel. There's Springtrap right there. Alright, let's go ahead and lift this sleeve off. And oh my. Already loving the figure. He's number 215 of the UT's collection. On the side, we got FNAF right here on the side. Very spooky looking. And on the back, we got Ryan just hanging for his life, trying to avoid all these zombies and animatronics. And for the back, it says. So what's going on guys, this is Ryan here, and it looks like you just got yourself a mini-me. This figurine is get encapsulates the notable moment where I, I, pardon me for this word, I don't know it, uh, it, Ipai, Ipikuli, whatever, um, showed down with the monsters of all variations, and of course one, all off camera, keep this figure safe as he will you as he will you when the monsters decide to surface once again yes and then side quote right there you've got to be kidding so yeah let's take a look at the top quote it says caution caution amazing youtube's inside definitely that is if you guys ordered the oh my goodness gracious he just fell off Whew. nothing that nothing bad damage no damage my oh my, hey Bit Ryan, I know you're amazing, but like still. Uh, hold on, let me just grab some of the stuff that fell over. Alrighty, and we're back. I just needed to uh, grab this that fell behind my fan because if I were to turn on my fan, let's just say it would melt and not be very good near a fan. And, uh, looks like we did. Look, no wonder it fell because this right here, a little broken off. Can't really see it, but that does not matter. Alrighty, I'll deal with all that later. But let's take a look inside the box itself, and it looks like just to be a scary hallway. Probably from a video I have that I've seen before, but it's just been forever. So yeah, and here is Apid Ryan himself, and he is actually the first YouTube's I own. That comes with the stand. I know another figure I have on the way will most likely have a stand. Well, actually, two figures might have a stand, but I am fine with it. How Ryan looks like this. You know, we got all the zombies right here. We got the animatronics. So we got, I'm guessing this is either Chica or Springtrap. 
this is Toy Freddy. This could be Nightmare Freddy, right? Nightmare Freddy right there. Or it could be Nightmare Fredbear. And we've got all the zombies lurking around trying to grab grab him. And, you know, he's just very spooked and everything. We got his little piercing right there. Very detailed right there. Along with his logo right there, 8 bit Ryan. Right there. We just got, you know, normal flash eye and everything, and just him looking all very spooked out. So, all in all, love 8 bit Ryan's figure. He did very well with his design. So. And supposedly he is already in the work of a B2 of his figure, so can't wait to get that one. Because if, if this one looks dope, his other figure will most likely be dope as well. I mean, either way, if it's not, I'm still going to cop it because he is one of my favorite content creators. And now for the final figure. Here we have him right here. And this one, personally, I love the most because I watch him every single day. I watch all of his content, no matter what. Uh, what's a good one? Yeah, I'll open it right here. Uh, come on. I should have pre-cut these all off camera, but I didn't feel bothered to do so. So, there we go, Todd. More tape for you to eat since they barely feed you at the YouTube's headquarters. That's this tape right here. This for you, Todd. And here he is. The one and only Docco. And honestly, I love, love this figure. All right, just from the sleeve right here. It looks beautiful. On the side, we have the paper pals. We have BB, some random paper pal right there. Just smiling and looking very terrified. Here we just have the big old slice of pizza with some crying children in the background. And right here, I believe this is to be Bonnie or it could be Glitch Trap from Help Wanted. So, let's just remove the sleeve art right there. And here he is, Darko, with his Glitch Trap mask and my oh my. Here on the side, we got the beautiful cover art again with some glowing eyes. So right here, I believe it's supposed to be Glitch Trap himself. These other eyes, I'm not 100% sure who it's supposed to be. But, yeah. And on the back, right here, it says, I was, deli I was, deliver I was delivered this item by a strange man. He looked very similar, similar to what's inside the box. His eyes looked broken. And lost, and he was holding what looked like a rabbit head. He stared for a while, and then he smiled and whispered, Join us. Dropping the box, he then walked away into the darkness. I never saw him again. What does join us mean? It almost feels as if it's watching me. But that's not possible, right? I feel like something or someone is attached to this item. Are there more of these strange figures around? Could be. I believe he, Darko is also in the works of a V2. U2, so. Yeah, so. Here we got Freddy Fazbear himself. Foxy's hook. A sign that just says, It's me. And on the side, we got the fan. Chica and Bonnie's little heads. And on the top right here, join us. With some more creepy eyes. So I feel like this is probably Springtrap. This could be Golden Freddy. This, I'm not sure who it could be. Could be Nightmare. Or Fred Bear himself. So yeah. Let's just... Oh yeah. What am I doing? And... Uh, the inside art. is just a stage with Glitchtrap right there. Trying to lure you in to stuff you into a Freddy Fazbear suit. And you too will become a missing child. <laughs> Never follow anyone with a strange bunny suit on, guys. Or just any stranger in general. So here we have Darko. Looking beautiful as ever. He 
along with Markiplier and a bunch of other what were just FNAF YouTubers are the reasons why I am into FNAF. So here we have Darko with his beautiful hair combed over, his beautiful glitch crab head, his bloody knife, and his eye is bleeding red. With his eyes, actually, Darko is actually the first YouTube to come with this detailed eyes. To, be, to have non-black U2's eyes. And he and Razbalki are the first people to be colliding with FNAF. Because FNAF is working with U2's to get their own figurines. But Darko and Razbalki are the first ones with the FNAF license. If you were to go to U2's.com and take a look. And scroll down to the very bottom. And here, this outfit that he is actually wearing is actually in one of his music videos. I don't remember which one it was, what it was called, but Darko was wearing this exact outfit and in a music video. Let's just take a look at the back real quick. Oop, don't fall over, Darko. Or should I say, glitch trap? And so yeah, that is it for this unboxing of what I am just gonna call the FNAF. The FNAF crew because this is how I, f I found these guys all just because of FNAF. FNAF for Razbalki, Apid Ryan, uh, what was it? I believe it's for FNAF, yeah, FNAF World for Apid Ryan. Dalko was actually just because of Apid Ryan because he, he kept on, kept on playing games that Dalko was mentioning t to Ryan to play, so I found him. Uh, because I found Darko because of Ryan. So yeah, out of all my all, all these figures to be my favorites, Darko's number one. Actually, in this order right here. I feel like Razbalki could have done a little bit more. You know. If like the hair was actually to match the YouTube's box where it's all white and not looking like this. And yeah, I feel like Razbalki's figure is kind of the weakest. Like, these two, they're sold out. You can still purchase Razbalki off of YouTube's.com. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this unboxing, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and notifications. Leave a comment down below. Out of these three right here, who is your favorite? But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Whenever, whenever I get more YouTubes. Actually, I should be getting some more tomorrow. So, whenever this video is uploaded, or I could have the other video uploaded. So, yeah. Peace out, everyone.